Russia is hosting North Korean combat troops, believed to number between 1,500 and 12,000, from the Korean People's Army on its territory. The move may appear to deepen Pyongyang's alliance commitment to Moscow, but it carries serious risks for Russia and highlights the challenges Moscow faces in using these troops. Expert Mark Galliotti writes about this for the Sunday Times. Despite the discipline and physical fitness of North Korean soldiers, their actual combat experience is very limited, adding to the difficulty of their potential involvement in combat. Although they are sometimes referred to as special forces, they are simply more specialized than most of the 950,000 regular soldiers in the Korean People's Army and are considered physically fit, disciplined and well-trained. However, they have no real combat experience. Deploying them directly into combat would also be problematic. Most North Koreans do not speak Russian, and the risk of miscommunication and friendly fire would be significant. Pyongyang would also be concerned about the risk of defecting to Ukraine. In any case, the importance of even 12,000 new troops should be put in context. The Russians lose that many people every 10 days of fighting. It will not change the basic arithmetic of the conflict, the expert writes. With its own reserves dwindling, Russia has long cooperated with North Korea to supply ammunition and military specialists, but much of this equipment has been criticized for its poor quality. Six North Korean technicians were killed in Ukraine, shelling in Donetsk this month, underscoring the risk of significant casualties. Russia also pays for these supplies with food, raw materials and, more importantly, its military technology. Russian analysts fear that Moscow is selling off the family silver to secure a short-term boost at the front. While North Korea may continue to supply ammunition, the technology transfer is a one-time deal. Ukrainian military analyst Vladislav Zelezniov believes Russia is particularly keen on bringing in engineering and technical units from North Korea for combat support. The DPRK's engineering and technical units are among the best globally. North Korea's territory is heavily fortified with defense structures, which means their engineering teams have years of hands-on experience building reliable fortifications. This expertise would be highly useful for the Russians, as they always start constructing new defenses whenever they secure new positions. Zelezniov explained, the expert emphasized that North Korea's military capabilities shouldn't be underestimated. Donald Trump took the stage Sunday night at New York's Madison Square Garden to deliver his campaign's closing argument with the election nine days away. Elon Musk, SpaceX and Tesla CEO, took the stage at Trump's event, in his black MAGA hat. The energy in this room's incredible, the future is going to be amazing, he said. Melania Trump heralded New York City as our hometown and the world's undisputed capital of industry as she took the stage Sunday, a rare appearance by the former first lady, who has been largely absent on the campaign trail. It was her first speech of the campaign. I'm not just MAGA, I'm dark, gothic MAGA. Well, it's, the energy in this room is incredible. What a, what a, what a great group of people. It's, All right, it's, I've only got one question for okay. you, and then I'm getting out of here, because this right. is your stage. But we set up Doge. Yes. How much do we, you think we can rip out of this wasted $6.5 trillion Harris-Biden budget. Well, I, I think we, we can do at least $2 trillion. Yeah! <laughs> yes. $2 trillion. I mean, at the end of the day, you're being taxed. You're being taxed. All government spending is taxation. So whether it's, it's direct taxation or all government spending, it either becomes inflation or it's, it's direct taxation. Your money is being wasted and the Department of Government Efficiency is going to fix that. We're going to get the government off your back and out of your pocketbook. And Amer America is just not, not just going to be great. America is going to reach heights that it has never seen before.
the future is gonna be amazing. Good evening, New York City. Hello, Madison Square Garden. Our hometown, where architectural symbols of strength, courage, and unity create a canvas for the world's undisputed capital of industry. And now, please welcome our next Commander-in-Chief, my husband, President Donald J. Trump.